Jim Inhofe is a Republican senator from Oklahoma. And as luck would have it, he's also the chairman of the United States Senate Committee on Environment and Public Works. On the 26th of February, 2015, he presented an argument against the existence of global warming. In case we have forgotten, because we keep hearing that 2014 has been the warmest year on record, I asked the chair, you know what this is? It's a snowball. And that's just from outside here. So it's very, very cold out, very unseasonal. So here, Mr. President, catch this. Mm -hmm. The popular version of the argument made by Senator Inhofe is that global warming is a hoax. And according to Inhofe, because it snowed. One version of this argument insists that if the global climate was getting warmer, there would be no cold weather. Ever. If at any moment, anywhere on the surface of the Earth, it's cold, then global warming is not occurring whatsoever. The problem with this reasoning is that there is a difference between weather and climate. Weather is simply the state of the atmosphere at a particular place and at a particular time. Climate is the statistics of weather in certain regions over a long period of time. It's what you get when you take all of the weather forecasts and analyze them to look for patterns. Now let's get back to the Senate floor. On this particular day in Washington, D.C., the weather was cold and indeed it did snow. But to make the case that the global climate isn't getting any warmer because it snowed in one city, in one country, in one continent, and on one particular day would be like saying there's nobody on earth going hungry tonight because there's a burger joint in Kalamazoo that's open until 6. It's a misunderstanding of the scope of the problem. And so it would appear that the chairman of the United States Senate Committee on Environment and Public Works does not understand what global warming is. Global warming, in a nutshell, is the increase of the average temperature on Earth. According to the University Corporation for Atmospheric Research, the average global temperature has increased one and a half degrees Fahrenheit, or 0.85 degrees Celsius, from 1880 to 2012. If the temperature in your living room increased by this much, that would not be a big deal. But when the average global temperature increases by that much, well, it's concerning. Data compiled from ice cores in Greenland show that the planet's temperature has been relatively stable for about 10,000 years. So stable, in fact, that the global temperature hasn't varied by more than one degree Celsius in all that time. Inconsequently, this is about the same length of time when human beings began developing agriculture. And for these past 10 millenniums, the climate has allowed agriculture to thrive. So if this steady 10,000 year long trend should come to an end, the conditions necessary for Earth's population to feed itself could potentially be jeopardized. But wait a second, is this our fault? Just because the planet is getting warmer doesn't mean we did it. Planet Earth has experienced incredible climate changes throughout its four and a half billion year long life without us driving anywhere. So who's to say that human activity is in any way responsible for this change in climate? Well, if that's not a rhetorical question, the answer is climate scientists. One of which is a man named James Lawrence Powell. Powell is responsible for the following pie chart, which represents a total of 13 13,950 scientific articles published between January 1st, 1991 and November 9th, 2012, all of which were written on the subject of man-made global warming and all of which were peer-reviewed. Out of these 13,950 scientific articles, 24, or 0.172%, reject the notion that human activity has any effect on global warming. The rest of them conclude that human activity has, to one extent or another, some effect on the current global climate. Dr. Powell conducted another, more recent effort to examine the peer-reviewed consensus on global warming, which he discussed in April of 2016. Hello, I'm Jim Powell. Speaking about my efforts to determine the strength of the consensus on man-made global warming. In my opinion, the only sound method is to search the peer-reviewed literature for articles that clearly reject the theory. My most recent search covered 2013 and 2014. I found 24,210 articles by 69,406 authors. Only five articles rejected man-made global warming. Two were by the same author, so the proportion of rejecting articles is 1 in 17,352, or 0.006%. This means that 99.99% of publishing climate scientists accept man-made global warming. That is as close to unanimous as it gets in science. 
Hopefully by now, the difference between weather and climate, the apparent rising global temperature, and the overwhelming scientific consensus that human activity has an impact have been established. But a few things have not been established, such as how much of an impact mankind has on the climate. This is where the conversation needs to graduate. Climate science is not yet certain beyond a reasonable doubt the scope and scale of our impact on the climate. We're admittedly still figuring that out. What is also debatable is the best solution to the problem. There are many ways to combat global warming. That debate needs to be had as well. So while the debate over how much of an impact we have on the climate should rage on, the debates over whether or not we have an effect at all, and whether or not it's even happening at all, should promptly conclude yesterday. To sum up, the true consensus on man-made global warming among publishing climate scientists is barely distinguishable from unanimity. Thus, science has spoken, and with one voice. We can heed the warning, or we can let ignorance and ideology trump reason and science. You know what this is? It's a snowball. And destroy our grandchildren's future. Thank you for watching.